Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Uh, we are here doing our virtual college exploration. So this is for our Indiana students sponsored by NACAC, which is the Indiana Association for College Admission Counseling. So uh, thank you again for joining us today. We hope you get some great information. If you do have any questions at all during the presentation, please use the Q&A function at the bottom of your screen. You can type in and our presenter will be able to see it and ask, um, answer the questions as things go on. Um, your camera and microphone are off, so you can just sit back and relax and enjoy the presentation. Um, if you like this and you wanna sign up for more, uh, we do have some more through the rest of this week. You can just go to inac.org and you can sign up for any additional presentations. This recording, uh, this presentation will also be recorded. So if you would like to watch it at a later date, share your friends, um, definitely take advantage of that. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and turn this over to our presenter. Uh, this is Lori and she's gonna talk to you about her wonderful university. Wonderful, thank you so much. I'm just going to share my screen here. Make it full screen, just a moment here. All right, hopefully everyone can see my screen. And I just want to introduce myself. My name is Lori Bregner, and I'm a global recruitment officer from Duke Quinchon University. And I work specifically with students from the Midwest. And I'm really excited to be working with students from the Midwest because I am a Chicago native myself. Um, so I really love introducing other students from the Midwest to these international opportunities. So before we get started specifically talking about Duke Kunshan University, let's talk about the fact that our, our world is truly at an inflection point with really criti critical current global challenges. Obviously the fact that we're meeting virtually today um, is because of the, the COVID-19 pandemic. We know that um, there are incredible issues with the environment and climate change, um, the economy, politics, and Duke Kunshan University is an answer to um, training up leaders who can address those critical issues. So we know that global challenges require a global education. And just by the fact that you're in this session, I assume that you have some interest in studying outside of Indiana and even outside of the United States for college. So studying another country for college can help you become a more engaged global citizen. It can help you have a more a broader understanding of other cultures. And of course, it can help you prepare for international careers. So here is a picture of Duke Funshan University, and we are a truly global university. We're a research-oriented arts and sciences interdisciplinary university. And as I said, Duke Kunshan was specifically built for students who want to make a meaningful difference in the world. Here we have um, a beautiful picture of our campus. It may look a little bit different from campuses that you have toured in the United States. Notably different is the fact that we have the beautiful water feature, the lake in the middle of campus rather than a grassy quad. On the right here is an aerial view of the campus. So again, you can see the lake in the center, it's surrounded by forests, and then all of our academic buildings and dorms. So you may be wondering, is this connected to Duke University? It does have Duke in the name. The answer is yes, we are a partnership with Duke University. And as you probably know, Duke University is ranked one of the top universities in the world. And it's consistently ranked a top 15 college in the States, according to US News and World Report. As a Duke Kunshan student, you would have an opportunity to study on two campuses. You would study in Kunshan, China on the campus that I just showed you in the previous slide. And then pictured on the right, you would study at uh, Duke University in North Carolina in the United States. You would go away to college in China and spend most of your time there, but you would be guaranteed to spend one semester your junior year at Duke in North Carolina. Because of that, you would earn two bachelor's degrees. You'd earn the Chinese international degree from Duke Kunshan, and then you'd earn a regular Duke University degree. So two very powerful degrees. 
You'd also join two alumni networks. So you'd join the Duke Kunshan alumni network and be able to continue to network with students that from all over the world that you studied with in China. And also you would join the regular Duke University alumni network, which has over 170,000 members and um, also has um, different groups in major cities in the US. So even if you um, decided on Duke Kunshan, but let's say after you graduated, you wanted to come back to the United States, maybe you wanted to move back to the Midwest, maybe move to Chicago, you could go and join the Chicago chapter of the Duke Alumni Network. We like to say that Duke Kunshan is your gateway to Asia and the rest of the world. So as I said, I assume if you are at this session, it's because you really want to explore the world, you want to um, leave where you grew up um, to attend college, and you really want to have an adventure. And Duke Kunshan's location really allows you to do just that. Um, we have close proximity to so many amazing um, locations uh, in Asia. For example, in the same amount of time that it would take you to fly from um, Chicago to New York, you can get to Seoul, South Korea. Um, you can get to um, Tokyo, Japan in a little over three and a half hours. Some of our students like to take long weekends and go to places like Thailand or Bali. Specifically, Duke Kun Shan is located near Shanghai, China. It's a very strategic location. In addition to being close to Shanghai, it's very near um, another beautiful city called Suzhou. And it's connected by high speed train to both of those um, cities. So to get to Duke Kun Shan, initially physically on the ground, you would fly. Um, there are direct flights from O'Hare Airport to um, Shanghai Pudong Airport. So you would fly into there. And then um, there are various high-speed trains that you can take from different parts of Shanghai to the Kunshan train station. And one is even just 20 minutes. Um, and then uh, Kunshan is a strategic location specifically um, because it's a hub for high tech research and manufacturing. So Duke Kunshan was actually just um, founded um, several years ago and we only just opened up for undergraduates in the fall of 2018. But when China and Duke University, um, when they were forming the partnership and they um, decided where to actually build the university, they decided on Kunshan um, because of its um, growing stature in the country. It has what's considered a small population in China of about 1.7 million. But as I said, it's a really wonderful place to be as a student because you have connections to um, a lot of tech companies and startups. Um, you might even liken Quinshan to a place like Silicon Valley in California. And so Kunshan is located in Jiangsu province, China, which is the wealthiest and greenest province in all of China. And I showed you in the previous slide that Kunshan is a pretty um, modern futuristic city like many other Chinese cities. But the wonderful thing about its location is that it's also near these ancient Chinese water towns that I have pictured here. Um, and these are very close to campus. You can go and ride in a gondola. They call it the Venice of the East. Um, and it's a really great way for you to explore the world's um, most ancient civilization. Um, but also you have the best of both worlds. You're um, living in a really modern city as well. And here is a beautiful um, picture of Shanghai skyline. This is called the Bund. So again, this is just a 20 minute um, train ride from Kunshan. And here's a photo of the other campus that you would be studying on. As I shared, you would be guaranteed to have at least one semester at Duke University in North Carolina as a part of your degree. And I just really like this photo because it shows Duke in the fall with the beautiful changing leaves. You can see the, the gorgeous Gothic architecture. Um, and so I just like to put this picture here to remind you, yes, um, you will be earning a Duke degree in China, but you will also be able to actually study on the Duke campus as well. 
Um, Durham specifically in North Carolina, where Duke University is located, is another really strategic location. Um, it is also a hub for high tech research and business. Um, there is one of the world's largest um, research consulting firms called Research Triangle International, which has contracts with um, places like the Gates Foundation doing really important work. It's also obviously an education hub. Duke is located there as well as University of North Carolina Chapel Hill, which is the nation's oldest public university. It's also around four hours from Washington DC driving and about a one hour plane ride to New York City. Duke Kunshan has an incredibly engaging academic environment. One of the most um, prevalent questions I get asked as a recruiter is, to attend Duke Kunshan, do I have to speak Chinese? The answer is no. To be admitted into Duke Kunshan, you do not have to speak Chinese. All of our classes are taught in English. However, you do have to be willing to learn Chinese once you arrive on campus. So all of our students take two years of required Mandarin language study. Now, if you have already studied Mandarin language in high school, you can take a proficiency test when you arrive and then they'll just put you in the appropriate higher level so you can continue. We have a really small student body at this point, again, because we only opened for undergraduates in fall 2018. So we currently only have freshmen, sophomores, and juniors. But this is a huge advantage because it allows you to have a really personalized academic environment. All of our classes are discussion based and there's total academic freedom, which is really important to think about in the context of studying in China for college. So you may have heard of um, China's internet restrictions. Sometimes it's called the Great Firewall. And as a Duke Kunshan student, you would be able to completely bypass this by using a university provided VPN. And so that means that anything that you would be able to access on the Duke University Library, you would be able to access on the Duke Kunshan campus. Another hallmark of Duke Kunshan is our exceptional faculty. We select professors from Duke University, um, from China, and then from uh, countries around the world. We really look for the top experts in their field. And these professors do know that they're joining a small, um, new, growing university. And so they've really chosen to teach because they want to have um, a personal connection with their students. They want to mentor their students. Currently, the student to faculty ratio is seven to one. So it's very different from maybe attending a Big Ten school where you're in a huge lecture hall with hundreds of students. Um, you really have a very um, personal connection to your fellow classmates and to your professors. It's not unlikely for professors to even um, invite their classes over to their apartments for dinner. That's just the type of atmosphere um, that is cultivated at Duke Kunshan. So another very unique hallmark of Duke Kunshan is that we have a unique course schedule. We have what we call a 4-1 academic week. So as a high school student, um, well, before the COVID-19 pandemic, when I know that schedules got, um, uh, became very different, um, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty um, normal for students to have class in the classroom Monday through Friday. At Duke Quinchon, however, we have a 4-1 academic week. So that means that you learn in the classroom Monday through Thursday, but Fridays are reserved for learning outside of the classroom. On Fridays, some of our students will go on field trips around China with their classes, maybe go into Shanghai, maybe pursue an internship, and some just catch up on schoolwork. We also have a really innovative semester schedule. Um, you will still, as a Duke Kunshan student, go away to college and come back for breaks at the same time as your friends who are studying in the United States. 
Um, but instead of having um, a semester long schedule where you'll take four to five classes at once, you'll have two mini academic sessions within the length of a normal semester. So each of those will be seven weeks and you will take two to three classes per seven week mini session. The advantage of this is that you really get to concentrate in on what you're learning. And just personally, I know when I transitioned to college from high school, it can be really difficult to manage four, five, six classes at once. Um, so this is a, really an advantage um, to different learning styles. Duke Kunshan University is also incredibly research focused. So as I shared, um, we opened up for undergraduates in fall of 2018, but for several years before that, we had been offering graduate degrees in environmental science and global health. And we have um, affiliated research institutes on campus. We have a Global Health Research Institute, Environmental Science Research Institute, a Center for the Study of Contemporary Chinese um, Life, and then also uh, an, a, a Humanities um, Research Institute. So already 20% of our current graduates have participated in research with a professor. They've been doing really amazing work that, as I shared in the first slide, they truly are addressing critical world issues. One of our uh, students who was interning with the Global Health Research Institute um, over the summer was looking at COVID, uh, infant and maternal COVID outcomes. Um, a student who was interning with the Environmental Science Research Institute was looking at air emission qualities within China. We also have a program called the Signature Work Program, and this is an outcome-oriented research mentorship program with a faculty member. So you'll be paired with a faculty member that has expertise in um, what you're looking to focus in on, and you can prepare a research project, a business plan, um, whatever goes along with your specialized area of study. And that way, when you graduate, you'll have something in your portfolio to be able to show to future graduate schools or future employers. So we have three academic divisions, natural sciences, social sciences, and arts and humanities. And because we are an interdisciplinary liberal arts institution, um, we do not require our students to declare their majors until the spring of their sophomore year. So that means that you get to take um, a mixture of classes from different disciplines um, so that you become really well-rounded and also so that you can see what you're really passionate about before you um, declare your major. So this is a list of all our academic majors, which are underlined, and then the interdisciplinary tracks, which are listed underneath in bullet points. So I'll just pause here to take a moment if you'd like to um, look and see if your major is listed, maybe take a screenshot to save for later. All right, so Duke Kunshan University has really impressive facilities. So anything that you need to do successful research or um, academics, we have. We are a LEED certified campus. Um, and that means that all of our buildings were built to green and sustainable building practices. We're actually the only LEED certified campus in all of China. We also have teaching, research, and artificial intelligence labs, um, independent and group study spaces. Um, on the bottom right here is a picture from one of our newest and most impressive academic buildings. It's called the Innovation Building. And as you can see, it has great resources for um, student resource, research. So, um, at Duke Kunshan University, we have excellent student supports and services in place to help you um, acclimate not only to college life, but to living in another country for college. We have undergraduate advising, career services, counseling and psychological services, residence life, athletics, and lots of clubs and organizations. So 
100% of all Duke Kunshan students live on campus or in university sponsored housing. So we help match you with a roommate. And I will say that um, I, I've heard a lot of stories about how um, students have met some of their best friends um, through um, residence life on campus. We also have leadership opportunities. If you'd like to apply to be um, a resident assistant, that's something you can definitely do. So we have three types of student residences. The first is on the top here, and it might be something that you're very familiar with from touring US colleges. And it's a traditional dorm style. Well, maybe not traditional, it, it is, um, I believe from what I've seen of US campuses, it's, what, it's much more modern and spacious. But you would have one roommate and then you would share a bathroom with um, other dorm rooms on the rest of the hall. Our second type of um, residence is a suite style of residence. So in that case, you would have your own single bedroom and then you would share a common living and studying area pictured here with um, a couple of other students and then you would just share a bathroom with them. So that's more of kind of having your own condo. The third option that we have is living in a luxury hotel that is near campus and this is student sponsored or this is university sponsored housing. So because we are a new university and we are adding more students faster than our um, our dorms are being built. Um, we do have this overflow housing. It's at a hotel called the Scholars Hotel. It's just a couple miles from campus, probably around a five minute um, shuttle ride. And we do have the shuttle that runs between the hotel and the campus all day long. And so some of our upperclassmen are currently living in the hotel. So what is there to do on campus outside of academics? There's so much to do. We currently have over 40 clubs and organizations that our students have founded. They range from things like entrepreneurship club to fencing to language club where they have a menu every week and you can pick off the menu and decide what language you want to learn a little bit of. And the great thing is, is that because we are a new university, um, if there is a club that has not been started yet, that is your passion, you can work directly with the student affairs office to get that club off the ground. And then it will be there for future Duke Kunshan students. Um, one of the most exciting um, activities that I think that the Student Affairs Office at Duke Kunshan offers is something called DKU Quest. And so this is a university sponsored travel program where they will um, help you um, go as a group to world heritage sites around China. So as you can see here, the Great Wall of China, um, we have st our students pictured here who um, are pictured in Tibet. So it's a really wonderful way, like I said, to have an amazing adventure while you're attending university. Um, we also have lots of options for staying fit and healthy on campus. We have physical education classes, um, personal training. We have a beautiful fitness center that overlooks our lake here. Um, and then we also have intramural sports. So some of the most popular intramural sports currently are basketball and soccer. Um, but just like the clubs, if there's a sport that you think um, should have an intramural club on campus and it hasn't been started yet, you can work directly with our director of athletics and get that um, off the ground. So I've talked to you a little bit about the um, the strategic location of Kunshan, that it's near both Shanghai and Suzhou. But I know that when I was looking at colleges, I always wanted to know what is there right off campus and very near campus for me to do. And so Duke Kunshan is not located directly in downtown Kunshan, it is close by, but because of a lot of different um, development that is coming about because of the 
the school being built there. Um, there's actually um, new um, construction that's built right near the university. So just right across the street, just a few steps, they built this European style shopping village. Um, and it is called Dayu Bay and it has restaurants and coffee shops. Um, and then sometimes they even have events and fireworks over the bay here. It also houses our student center, which is called um, the Blue Oasis. And this is where students can come and hang out and study together. We also have events, uh, concerts, etc. there. And then on the top right here, I just kind of gave you a picture of, you know, a run of the mill mall in China, which, of course, looks totally futuristic and modern to um, to those who are used to American malls. Um, but I just put that there because um, there are lots of options for shopping. Um, you know, you can take a Didi ride and be at a mall within a couple of minutes. Didi is um, the equivalent of Uber in China. And our students definitely love to go off campus and go out to dinner. Um, they go shopping. And then also one of our students' favorite activities is to go out and sing karaoke together. So we have undergraduate advising to help you chart your academic course while you're at Duke Kunshan. We have tutoring, uh, including language tutoring, because you will be learning Mandarin. We, as I said, we have academic mentoring, including the signature project advising. And if you're looking to go into medicine or law after, um, after graduating, we do have professional school guidance. We also have a really incredible career services office. Um, we offer career counseling, job search training, internship resources. So um, Du Kun Chan will host an internship fair on campus and bring employers who are specifically looking to hire Du Kun Chan students as interns. And you can go and meet with them, bring your resume, and hopefully land an amazing internship. We have Friday career treks where um, you can go to maybe a local company in Quinchon and um, shadow an employee. We have other corporate and networking events. And pictured here is one of our students from Kazakhstan. And she landed an internship at Ernst & Young, which is very impressive. I know some of our other students have interned at other prestigious consulting firms, such as McKinsey. They've interned at places like Shanghai Disney. And then um, my favorite um, internship that I've heard of from a Duke Kunshan student is they interned with the Chinese Academy of Natural Sciences, which is kind of the equivalent maybe to the Smithsonian in Washington, D.C., and they were working on cataloging ancient fossils. So we know that adjusting to college in general, not to mention adjusting to college on a new continent, is definitely, um, it requires a lot of support for students. So we definitely have that for you. We have counseling and psychological services that include individual counseling, different workshops and support groups. And as pictured here, they even have events like bringing in therapy puppies to help students de-stress during finals. So I've been um, speaking for a while now. And of course, as a global recruitment officer, um, I'm really excited to share Duke Kunshan with you. And of course, I look forward to being a resource for you. But I know that it's often really important to hear why current students chose um, the school that you're learning about. And so here, let's hear from some of our current students. This student here, his name is Peter, and he's actually from North Carolina. And he first heard about Duke Kunshan when he was interning at a lab on the Duke University campus. And he said that he chose Duke Kunshan ultimately because of the sense of adventure from the students that I've, I've talked about before. And then also the sense of helpfulness from the faculty, again, um, stemming from the fact that we are a small school at this point. 
And this student, Reika from Japan, said that she chose DKU because she could pursue global health in an undergraduate environment from different perspectives within a unique liberal arts program. And additionally, DKU provides a truly international experience with a tight community of students and faculty that no other university can provide. And so our student body is incredibly diverse. They hold over 50 different nationalities and come from six continents. And what do these students look like? Who are we looking for to join the Duke Kunjan community? We're looking for students who, as I said before, are adventurous, open-minded, who are excited about the possibility of attending a brand new university um, on two continents, um, who are independent thinkers, obviously um, very high, highly accomplished academically, um, who are fascinated with China and the world, who truly want to make an impact on the world. So let's look a little bit closer at our specific class profile so you can get a better sense of um, the academic standards for admitted students. So for the class of 2024, um, we had uh, 30 over almost 3500 applicants and we are a highly selective institution. We had a 17% acceptance rate. The middle 50% of the SAT for our admitted international students was between a 1410 and a 1510. And then I like to talk about the ACT because I know students in the Midwest tend to take the ACT quite frequently. The ACT was between a 32 and a 34. And then our average GPA was a 3.9 out of four. So we also, as I shared, our students are very internationally minded. Um, over 80% of our students speak two or more languages. And then almost 50% of our students speak three or more languages. So if you're someone who loves to learn different languages and interact with people from all over the world, Duke Kunshan is a great place for that. So we welcomed 81 international students um, into the class of 2024. And overall, our student body is 70% of our students are from China, and the remaining 30% are from the United States and countries all over the world. So we welcome students from 16 continents and over 30 countries. Um, they literally come from every corner of the world. We have growing interest from places like Morocco, Kazakhstan, Latin America, and as you can see here are some of the other citizenships that are current students hold. So I know that um, a big part of researching colleges is looking seriously at the finances. And I wanted to share with you here the current um, tuition and fees for the 2020-2021 school year. Our tuition is set similar to that of Duke University. It's approximately 55,000 US dollars for the tuition for one year. And then every year you should anticipate additional um, living expenses, which would include housing, so your dorm, food, travel back and forth from China, um, of course, your books, student fees, and then health insurance. So we estimate that with the tuition and then the associated living costs, that the total cost for one year at Duke Kunshan is currently around 76,000 US dollars. Now, I want to assure you that very few students pay that full price. 80% of our incoming international students receive some sort of aid. We have two, tor two types of financial aid for our students. First of all, all applicants are automatically considered for merit-based scholarships, just based on their regular application to Duke Kunjan. Um, you don't have to fill out any separate application. If you are eligible for merit awards, you will be notified um, in your admissions decision. 
Now, if you would like to apply for need-based grants based on your family's financial situation, you can submit the CSS profile. And we really do try to make a Duke Kunshan education accessible um, from, for students from all backgrounds. I will note, however, that we do have up to and including full tuition scholarships, but I like to, to really stress that um, it is only up to full tuition. So keep in mind, even if you were one of the very lucky few that received a full tuition scholarship, you should still have the expectation that you'll need to um, pay for your own living expenses listed here. One of the other really exciting things about applying to Duke Kunshan University is that we host an international admitted student experience every spring generally in late April. So this is set after all of our students, regular decision students receive their admissions decisions, but before the May 1st deadline when you would have to notify us of your decision to attend. In 2018 and 2019, we, um, we invited all of our admitted students to China and we provided financial assistance, we hosted them on campus, and they were able to um, obviously um, get to know campus and the surrounding area. They were able to connect with future um, classmates and professors, um, attend sample classes, and really just find out if Duke Kunshan is the best fit for them. For the spring 2020 um, semester, we did invite students to a virtual admitted student experience because of the COVID-19 pandemic. However, we really are hoping that travel restrictions um, will allow us to, again, invite um, future admitted students back to campus physically. So I'm going to just pause here in case anyone joined after the very beginning. And I just like to show these two gorgeous images. On the left here, we have Duke University in North Carolina. This is the beautiful um, Duke Chapel. On the right here, we have an iconic image of the Duke Kunshan campus in China um, with the beautiful lake in the center and our water pavilion building, which I think is one of the most um, majestic buildings on campus. And the reason that I pause here to show you those two images is that I want you to, if you remember anything from this presentation, to remember that at Duke Kunshan, you study on two campuses in two countries, China and the United States, and you earn two bachelor's degrees. And also I'd like to show this, um, this slide at the end too. These are some photos that some of our current students have shared with us. As you can see, Duke Kunshan is definitely a place where you can live, learn, and explore. So our students love to explore different parts of China. Like I said, go into Shanghai, um, explore different cuisines, um, and here is one of our students who actually went to Bali on one of the, the three-day weekends that we have thanks to our unique academic calendar. Um, so hopefully these pictures are making you really excited about the possibility of experiencing Duke Kunshan. And if so, we would like to invite you to apply via the Common App. Our, current, our application is currently open and we have two decision deadlines. One is early decision. This deadline is November 2nd, so coming up in just a few weeks. And this is for students who are 100% sure that Duke Kunshan is the place for them and that if they are admitted, they will commit to attending. Um, and then we have our regular decision, which is January 4th. And this is um, an option where it's non-binding. So if you are admitted, you still can keep some other options in the pool and then um, just find your best fit and just notify us before May 1st. Um, we do require a lot of the same components that other schools that use the Common App do. Um, you'd wanna do your, obviously your application, um, your essays, 
We require you to submit your school report and high school transcripts, um, counselor and teacher recommendations. And I do want to mention that we are test optional this year um, due to any barriers that students may, may find in taking standardized tests due to COVID-19. So again, test optional this year. So another great next step is to tour campus with one of our current students. You can take out your phone camera feature and just hover it over this QR code and then it will take you straight to the registration page. Um, so you can see even more photos of our beautiful campus and learn about what it's like to actually live on campus from one of our current students. And so I'd really like to thank everyone for joining me today. Um, Duke Kunshan is a very, very unique college experience. But again, if you are someone who wants to earn a top degree from a, one of the most prestigious United States universities and study in China, this is an amazing option for you. So feel free to continue to follow us on social media. We're on Instagram. Facebook, Twitter. I highly recommend our YouTube channel. We have some of our current students who have filmed um, day in the life videos. And then of course, you can email us at internationaladmissions at dukekunjan.edu. Thank you so much for attending and we look forward to seeing your application. Have a great day. Thank you, Lori, so much. It sounds like an amazing opportunity for these students. I hope you guys um, enjoyed this presentation. Um, I just have a quick few things to share with you all. So again, thank you so much for joining us. Um, at the very end of this presentation, there's gonna be a survey option for students to let us know how things went, if there's anything you would like to add for any other presentations. Again, you can sign up for more session opportunities through our NAC website, which is nac.org. And if you'd like to record and see this again, uh, please check out our website at enact.org slash virtual college exploration to see the Duke Kunshan University presentation again. So we thank you. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much. Good night. Good night.